In this video I will show the tools of the administration application which are useful when you create a rapid scatter project. I made a copy of the Hello World project and I will use it for example. Open the channels table. You can copy and paste cell values including cells which are selected from drop-down list. To make a copy press Ctrl C and press Ctrl V to paste. Then press Enter. You can filter the table. The filter form is initiated according to the selected cell. After filtering you may need to update cell text. Press Ctrl F to open the find and replace form and use it. Only the filtered rows were updated. Then clear the filter. You can sort rows by clicking a table header. In the channels table you can open the row properties with a special form. Right click the configuration database node to reload the configuration database. It can be useful if you edited the configuration database files manually. For example, you can open them in the Explorer and then edit with some editor. After editing, reload the configuration database. There are three wizards to create communication lines, devices and channels. Uh, the corresponding buttons are also located in the main toolbar. Clone channels is a useful feature when you need to create similar channels for multiple devices. For example, I can create a new device copy the device type, copy the communication line then check the channel map to understand what IDs are already used. Then clone channels. We will close this channels. From this to that and new channel numbers will be started from 201. I will use the newly created device. If you open the channels by the device you can see that our channels have been cloned with a new device. Then you can check the map. check channels by object, the device map, object map. Integrity check is useful when you update the configuration database tables from a third party application or manually. Encrypt password. You can 
prepare a password string to be inserted directly in the configuration like that input and export table features are needed when you exchange data between and different projects we can export channels for example choose a format id range We use the CSV format, which can be opened by the Excel application. And then input the channels back. We will use new IDs for them. Channels were added for the same device. We can open the channel map to see them. Talking about views, there are files and folders. So you can open them in the Explorer to copy, paste, rename, etc. The server, communicator and web station applications, all of them have the reload configuration feature. It's needed in case you edited the configuration file manually. If you edit the configuration via the user interface, you don't need to reload the configuration. Pay attention to the useful communicator feature synchronizing with the configuration database. Uh, remember, um, I created the device number two and I want to synchronize it with the communicator. You can see that the device number two appeared in the communication line. If I change some device properties in communicator, I can synchronize them back. Now that the device name's name was changed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.